Greece sent a military transport plane to Beirut Thursday to evacuate Greek and Cypriot nationals who wanted to leave Lebanon as hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah escalate. The C-130, carrying 38 Cypriots and 22 Greeks, landed in Larnaca in Cyprus midday Thursday, before heading to a military airfield near Athens later in the day. Greece's foreign ministry has set up hotlines for its citizens living in Lebanon to call if they require assistance in leaving the country. In the Kursk Oblast, Ukrainian troops repulsed a mechanized attack by the invaders using the captured Russian defense line. Units of the 129th Territorial Defense Brigade took up fortified positions built by the invaders on the Russian-Ukrainian border to rebuff the enemy offensive. A Russian mechanized assault group with a turtle tank equipped with a mine trawl was defeated on the outskirts of the city as a result of artillery strikes, mine explosions and drone strikes, according to Militani media outlet. The location of destroyed Russian vehicles was geolocated 1.5 kilometers east of the village of Plekovo, the Kursk Oblast, near a former Russian stronghold. Units of the 128th Territorial Defense Brigade have apparently deployed their main forces to these positions. Judging by the images, they were well dug in and intended for a circular defense. The enemy column marched towards them for almost three kilometers under artillery fire, but ran into an anti-tank ditch and a concrete block barrier where it was finished off. At the same time, the advance of the rushed assault vehicles was hampered by nearby barbed wire barriers, one kilometer away from main Ukrainian positions. Earlier, Militani told about large-scale fortification complexes built by the Russian military in the border area of the Kursk Oblast. In particular, the company stronghold of the 488th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces consisted of dugouts and facilities connected by an extensive network of underground communications. 
Fortified from all sides, the stronghold was completely hidden underground. It was electrified and connected to other underground living quarters, a dining room, weapons storage facilities, as well as a bathhouse and toilet. Significant stocks of food, weapons and ammunition were found at the facility which the military could have used in a circular defense. Soldiers of the Security Service of Ukraine also captured 102 soldiers of the 488th Guards Motor Rifle Regiment, including conscripts. Since the beginning of the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region, Russians have caused significant damage to the civilian infrastructure of Sudza. This was reported by Vadim Misnik, a spokesman for the Siversk OTG on the air of the Suspilny Novini Marathon. When our defense forces were taking control of the city, three to four buildings were almost damaged and Russian soldiers were knocked out of them, he said. However, now the Russian military has destroyed the ice palace, kindergartens, schools and banking institutions with shelling. They are destroying a lot of their own infrastructure, the spokesman stressed. He said that the Russian army continues to use multiple rocket launchers more intensively in the area of the Kursk region controlled by the defense forces than in Ukraine's Chernihiv, Sumy and part of Kharkiv regions.